we fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Their impeachment trial failed to convict Donald Trump for allegedly inciting the January the 6th, 2021 attack on Congress. So Democrats are hoping new evidence unveiled on prime time TV this Thursday will help, at least in the court of public opinion. Millions of people either witnessed firsthand tear gas fired inside the building or watched this unprecedented attack that left five people dead unfold live on TV or even on multiple streaming platforms filmed by people who managed to penetrate the building. And Democrats have spent months trying to establish crucial behind the scenes details in phone calls and text messages to try to establish the degree of pre-planning and who knew what and when all to support their central allegation that this was an attempted coup d'etat designed to stop lawmakers in the Capitol certifying Joe Biden as Donald Trump's successor as US president. Democrats say they've interviewed more than 1,000 witnesses as part of a highly produced made-for-TV presentation that's already being compared to the Watergate hearings. For over four months, Watergate has dominated the news media. They'll try to convince Americans the insurrection was essentially a conspiracy and connect a chain of key players, from Trump to Republican lawmakers to members of far-right fringe groups, including the Proud Boys, who stormed the Capitol. The idea that all of this was just uh, a rowdy demonstration that um, spontaneously got a little bit out of control is absurd. Uh, you don't almost knock over the U.S. government by accident. Trump isn't giving evidence, and some members of his inner circle are defying subpoenas to testify to the committee, including former trade advisor Peter Navarro, who is now facing jail after being indicted for contempt of Congress. What that kangaroo committee is doing right now is investigating for punitive purposes. They're essentially acting as judge, jury, and executioner. Their mission, their clear mission is to prevent Donald John Trump from running for president in 2024 and being elected for president. The committee plans to hold around six hearings throughout June before releasing a report on its findings in September, just two months before midterm elections serve as a referendum on Joe Biden's presidency. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.